Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining our ED for Business info session. Over the next several minutes, we'll be sharing information with you about electric vehicles, how they can benefit your business, and the programs and resources CobbMC has available to help you as your business is evaluating and potentially transitioning to an EV future. So before we get started, I'd like to take a moment to quickly introduce ourselves. I'm Mark Goddard, the Director of Commercial Marketing here at CobbMC. I've been with CobbMC for over 25 years. In commercial marketing, we help our uh, commercial members with energy, efic energy efficiency recommendations, rate analysis, and we're also involved in economic development opportunities in our service area. And we also manage customer choice projects for commercial members who do uh, sometimes have a choice when they're building their building. So those are some of the things we do in commercial marketing. Now I'll ask Christine to introduce herself as well. Thank you, Mark. Hello, everyone. My name is Christine Molinax, and I'm the Commercial Industrial Account Manager at Cobb EMC. And I've been with Cobb EMC for over 31 years, and I'm honored to be here with you today. We have a lot of great information for you, so let's get started. Thank you, Christine. We'll start today's uh, webinar with some basic EV industry trends and, and, and things that are going on. We know not everyone listening today knows the basics about electric vehicles, so we will start with a high-level overview of all the options available as well as the current trend in the market. We're going to first uh, start off by talking about the types of vehicles. As you can see on the monitor there, we're going to talk a little bit about the types of vehicles that are out there today, and we're going to talk about four categories. Um, first, we'll talk about the, the traditional internal combustion engine vehicle. These are the cars you're very familiar with. These are the ones that, uh, that are powered off of gasoline or diesel. Then there's BEVs, or battery electric vehicles. These vehicles are 100% electric and they require power and recharging charging to get from point A to point B. Then there's HEVs or hybrid electric vehicles. These are vehicles powered by both gasoline and electricity, but no charging is required. They fuel up at the gas station, but are also assisted by electric power that is generated when the driver uses the brakes. This technology is called regenerative braking. Then there's PHEVs or plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. These vehicles are like hybrids in that they are both powered by gasoline and electricity, but they do require charging for the electric component. It's important to know that when it comes to vehicles, there are options within all four categories that we just mentioned. What works best for one business may not work best for the other. The remainder of our conversation today is going to focus on BEVs, the 100% electric vehicles. Cobb EMC, as well as many other industry experts, believe these cars are the cars of the future. Now we'll talk a little bit about charging, how charging works. As with the types of vehicles, there's many types of charging in the market today. So we're gonna go over the, the, the three types that are available uh, today. So we'll start off by talking about the level one charging. It's the most basic level um, because it's a lower voltage. And a traditional EV will take uh, several hours, anywhere from 18 to 15 hours to completely charge based on you know, the state of, of the battery when it's plugged in. Then there's level two charging. Um, this is the next step, step up. Uh, the car is available to charge a little bit faster, going from completely empty, uh, anywhere from four to eight hours, again, depending upon the state of the battery when it was when it was plugged in. And then finally, there's DC fast charging, also known as level three charging. This is the faster charging, this is the fastest charging available today. Uh, these chargers can recharge an empty battery anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, uh, depending on several factors, including the state of the charge of the battery. Each car has a different type of plug pattern, but most new EVs can accept all three types of charging. They may just need an adapter. It's important to note that more often than not, drivers are just topping off versus fully recharging from an empty, especially when they're out and about driving. So with the four types of vehicles and three types of charging, you can see the EV market is diverse, but what does the future hold? We've all seen the headlines and TV commercials. It seems that more and more automakers are announcing not only new electric vehicle models, but also their commitments to making the transition to only offering new models of electric vehicles sometime in the not too distant future. With more research, investment, and options in the fully electric space, the EV movement is only going to intensify over the coming years. In fact, a 2021 KPMG survey of auto executives showed that 52% of all new vehicles sales will be electric by 2030. With a change as major as this coming over the course of the next several years, it's important for businesses to prepare today for electrical future. These changes will impact your operations, your employees, and even your customers. As you assess EVs and the fit they may have for your business, Cobb EMC is always here as your trusted partner and resource for all things electric. And now with that, we'll like to talk about some things that uh, EVs for your business and how we can help you. So I would like for Christine to take over now. Christine, please take it away. Thank you, Mark. 
And I don't know about y'all, but I cannot wait to see the new EV trucks on the road. That is really going to have an impact on residential and the commercial um, EV businesses. So now you know some more about the EV basics. We're going to transition into how EV can add value for you and your businesses and the different ways your business can choose to get involved with this technology. So there are several ways you can incorporate EVs into your business. You can either purchase or lease the EV vehicles, and this will look different for each business. But it could mean using electric vehicles for certain use cases, such as deliveries, or even transitioning to an all electric fleet. You can also install charging, and you might be wondering, who would these chargers be for? Well, this is up to you and your business. It could be just for customers, or it could be an added benefit for your employees who either have EVs currently or looking to purchase them or even charging for yourself for upcoming fleet vehicles. The use cases for your businesses are all highly contingent on your business model and your cost assumptions. There are additional benefits that EV charging for businesses can, can offer, some of which are important considerations to your cost calculations. Yes, EV chargers can attract new customers. Many drivers use the phone apps to search for locations before they leave their home or their business. And installing these charging stations gives your business a clear competitive advantage. And for apartment complexes, EV chargers can be a marketable benefit for your complex over others. You also are, want to motivate your customers to stay a little bit longer. So the drivers taking advantage of these charging stations tend to stay longer to give their cars a little more time to charge. They also increase your property value. EV charging stations attract and retain customers and can add a valuable revenue stream or amenity to your property. They also prepare your business for the future. With the increase in gasoline prices and driving demand, electric vehicle sales in the US are expected to increase 37% over last year. So the message is real, EVs are coming and we need to be ready for them. Those that are ready are prepared for what the future of EV brings. With so much to learn about the EV landscape and the potential for your business, Cobb EMC has several resources and programs to help. Starting off, for those interested in going online to learn a little bit more, Cobb EMC has a robust EV resource center with general information on charging, use cases, and general consumer info on EVs. We also have several resources dedicated to commercial members specifically. The URL for our resource center is at the bottom of the screen. One of our most popular programs that Cobb EMC offers to both residential and commercial members is our EV experience program. Certain days of the month, members are able to check out our company fleet EVs for free. It's a great way to drive an EV for the first time without the pressure of a test drive at a car dealership. Also by checking out the cars overnight, as the program does allow, members are able to get a better feel than a traditional test drive. So we encourage our members who check out the EVs, try charging it while they have it. And for businesses, share the experience with your employees during the checkout if possible. The first time I drove an EV, it was a Chevy Volt. It wasn't what I expected. And I walked away from that excited. The driving experience, it was fun. And the best way to describe it was zippy. So every EV that I've driven since, I can honestly say was a joy to drive. And I hope you take advantage of this program. Please know that because this is such an exciting program that checkups, checkouts will book very quickly. If this is something you or your business are interested in, please reach out to one of us directly and then we can help you get on the checkout calendar. The last program we'd like to mention is our commercial EV grant program. If your business is thinking about installing chargers at your location, either for customers or employees, Cobb EMC actually offers a grant incentive to help with this. Through the charging grant program, businesses, government agencies, and apartment complexes can receive up to $5,000 towards the purchase and installation of these chargers. The amount each applicant receives is dependent upon the number of chargers, whether it's public or private facing, and a few other factors. If this is something you're interested in, or even just wanted to take a look at the feasibility, we are here to help you with this process. This is a great benefit to our membership, and we highly encourage all of our commercial members take advantage of this program if EVs are in your company's future. This actually concludes our program for today. 
but once again, we wanted to share our contact information with you. If you have any questions about any of the information shared throughout the program, or if you would like to schedule an EV checkout, or even discuss our commercial charging grant, we'll hope you reach out to one of us. And again, thank you for joining us.